So you must have eyes to see, ears to hear. So spiritual ears must also be opened. Spiritual eyes must be opened. And the mouth sanctified to speak to God and speak for God. In Exodus chapter 1, verses 15 to 22. that before the baby Moses was born or just about the time he was going to be born all the male born Hebrew boys were killed either their necks were strangled or they were thrown alive into the Nile River to be eaten by the crocodiles they were offered as a sacrifice to the crocodile god and then we read in Matthew chapter 2 Verses 16 to 18. Before or at that time of the birth of the baby Jesus, Herod sent his soldiers to kill all the male-born babies, two years old and under, which means that the Lord Jesus was at least two years old by the time the wise men came to see him. They were all killed. Every time God raises deliverers, the devil raises up a new world, new evil order to kill the purposes of God. But God protects his anointed. He protects them. But the point is this, a new evil order is arising. And as in the past, in these last days, the Bible tells us a new prophetic order is coming. If we read Malachi chapter 4, verses 4 to 6, it says, Remember the law of Moses. Remember the law of Moses. And verse 5 and 6 says, In the last days I will send you Elijah the prophet, who will restore all things. You know, among all the prophets in the Old Testament, two of the greatest of them all, all time is Moses and Elijah. And the, Lord, and the Bible says, these two will return in the last days. And for a validation of that, we find in Matthew chapter 17, verse 3 and 4, that on when the Lord Jesus was transfigured, among all the prophets, it was Moses and Elijah who appeared before the Lord Jesus and spoke with him about the death that he was going to go through. So that was the communion of saints. The Lord Jesus Christ enjoyed that communion. He had the blessed privilege of the communion of the saints on Mount Transfiguration. You know, let me tell you one truth today. Whatever we read in the Bible, this kind of special things, is not just a one-time event. Not just a one-time event. There have been many more such events but just one is written in the Bible for us to know that there are such things and it is available for all whatever we read is available by all in one visitation I had from the Lord Jesus he was speaking to me about the two witnesses so I asked him this question who those two witnesses really are so he said, he said, merely he simply said, they are there, they were standing with me on the Mount of Transfiguration. So then, concerning that event, I asked the Lord, you know, there's only this one event in your life, 
and each time we mention that we get a lot of criticism from so many traditional and even some pentecostal people that all these are necromancy talking to the dead the lord jesus looked at me simply and he said you know that's not the only time i had that encounter throughout my life i had many such encounters but just one is written in the bible for you all to know that this is real that this is a valid thing so remember this anything that's written in the bible is, is not just one time thing a one time event is written there an example a sample written for us to know that they are all real and after eating one sample you want more right you know once uh, so a few years ago pastor joe switch's uh, young daughter worked for me and uh, she took me to one supermarket because i needed to get some stuff so when i walked into the supermarket there was a counter where they had some kind of a pastry so a woman stood there and she asked shut out she stretched out her hands to say would you like to try a sample so i asked, i asked this girl uh, do we have to pay money for that <laughs> she said no because in india they don't give this kind of free samples you know she said no it's for free she said, are you really sure she said yes she so said okay if it is free you go first <laughs> you go first so she went she took one she had she licked she look it's free really so i went i said okay let give me one so i took and had it wow. it was very tasty so as we were about to walk away i said can i have another one <laughs> she said yes of course then i thought you know since i got two why not ask for three So I went back and asked, "Can I have one more?" She said, "Here, take the whole basket." <laughs> See, after tasting a sample, you want more, right? You want more. You should have more, not just simply satisfied with a sample, just because it's free. You want more. <clears throat> so a new order now god calls this new prophetic order a new prophetic order is coming that will compose of two companies now this new prophetic order based on joel chapter 2 verse 28 and 29 in the last days I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters meaning little children in the hebrew sons and daughters means 12 years old and below your little children will be filled in the holy spirit your youths will be filled in the holy spirit your old men and your old women will be filled in the holy spirit yesterday you heard brother jeremiah mentioning about the gray haired and the white haired people do you remember that So I thought, you know, when you mentioned about grey hair and white hair, of course, you know, I always sometimes like to think humorously. But there are many grey-haired, white-haired people who are dying their hair today. <laughs> so what will happen to them? <laughs> so what will happen? You are no more grey. You are no more white. So the anointing will bypass you. <laughs> Oops. so i had a good love within me thinking about that see just be natural amen so the old man and the old woman will be filled in the holy spirit and the men servant and the maid servant those are the hopeless kinds the nobodies in society upon this four classification of people group god will pour out his spirit and what is the result of the anointing your spiritual eyes are open you will see visions secondly you will prophesy you know these two the gift of prophecy and the gift of seeing visions are two characteristics of the prophetic ministry 
the gifts of healings, if you have all the other gifts of healing, I mean gifts of the Holy Spirit, they are good to help you do the works of ministry. But the thing that will set a person as a prophetic person is the ability to see in the spirit and to talk in the spirit, talk to the Lord in the spirit, to hear your spiritual ears opened. What good is it if you just can see but don't hear? Those are like the old days silent movies. Have you watched Charlie Chaplin's movies? You just see and you have to imagine what Charlie is, is trying to say. You don't hear anything, right? Silent movies. What good is that? You must also have audio as well as video. So you must have eyes to see, ears to hear. So spiritual ears must also be opened. Spiritual eyes must be opened. And the mouth sanctified to speak to God and speak for God. Two things. To speak to God is the ability is to speak in unknown tongues. Because the scripture says in 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 2 that he who speaks in unknown tongues speaks mysteries to God. So you are speaking directly to God. That is the power of speaking in unknown tongues. Not just a spiritual exercise. You are speaking directly with God. And when you speak directly with God, God will speak back with you. Have you ever experienced that? Many, in fact, all of us have experienced it, but we have not recognized it. Let me share with you how you can recognize this. When you start speaking in unknown tongues, you start in your own voice. Then suddenly, midway, you suddenly become very rough and very strong and very robust. Have you experienced? That's when God is speaking with you. Because when a lion roars, it doesn't speak like a cat. <laughs> a lion, lion's roar is different from a cat's meowing. Am I right? So when God speaks, it's the roar of a lion. That's when God speaks to you. So you keep on speaking in tongues until you hear the roar coming to you. When your voice changes and you become so robust and strong, that's when God is speaking to you. And after it is done, wait silently for the interpretation. Don't just walk away. Just wait silently for the interpretation. But when you have matured in the spirit, while God is speaking to you, you will have the interpretation. But initially, wait. Just wait quietly, silently, and the Holy Spirit will give you the interpretation of what you are speaking. So a new prophetic order is being raised, and they will be composed of two companies, the Moses company and the Elijah company. In the year 2014, in this conference here, was when the word of the Lord came unto me to speak about these two companies that God is raising up in the last days, the Moses company and the Elijah company, two companies. So every one of us will come to one of the two companies. And God will show you which company that is. You will have that inner witness in you. So that is why the new evil order is rising up to suppress to put down, to squash the new prophetic order that God is raising.